What's going on guys, you're with Hardy Tech and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum, the EV Lock. In the last episode, we made our way to some place that I don't remember. And we have some, I have some very important things to talk about um, in a minute revolving um, about, not revolving, we're revolving around this Pokemon universe. That doesn't even make sense, but uh, involving the question in the last video. So you guys might want to stick around for that. Hopefully you stick around for the whole thing. That'd be wonderful because I may or may not give cookies to you at the end. I'm not giving you cookies, sorry. Anyways, uh, so we have a new evolution to add to the team. And it's probably no surprise at all if you looked at the poll. It was absolutely dominated by one Pokemon getting almost 50% of the votes. I know it was more than 40%. It wasn't quite 50. It is... Espion, which I decided to name Espionage because I love myself a good pun and I always kind of saw Espion as like a, like if I was a spy I would have an Espion. I know Umbreon is more of like this the shadowy Pokemon But Espion just seems like something a spy would have so I thought Espionage was a cool pun name and I'm sure other people have done it before but um, yeah, so I'd say like 95% of the people um, who answered in the comment of the last video about whether or not I should catch evolutions? I would say like 95% of them said yes. By the way, I did not train up Espionage to the level of everyone else because I got lazy, so we're gonna finish training him in the gym here. But I would say a lot of people said yes, like 95% probably. And but it really, really bothers me when I can't make everybody happy. You know, like most people could say yes and one person would say no, and I'd feel bad because I can't make that one last person happy. It would make me sad. So, uh, while most people thought it'd be yes, I decided to kind of find a compromise. Um, the way I'm treating this series is kind of like a beta run. You know, um, I while I had done, I have done a test of the EV lock. I only went up to the second gym in Pearl or Diamond. I, don't, I actually don't remember which one. I only went up to the second gym, so I didn't. Ah, I want to stay in, but I'm not willing to risk it. So I didn't get very far, and um, I didn't test a lot of things. I didn't consider a lot of things. So I'm kind of considering this like a, te a beta because we're playing. Where you know we're playing through this EV lock and testing out features, adding new features when we think we need it, removing features when I think I need it. Um, and I thought a good compromise for the EV lock because a lot of people said yeah catch evolutions but some the people who said I shouldn't had very good arguments to it uh, why I shouldn't so I was like eh what do I do and I decided to kind of combine or to kind of make it more fit to Nuzlocke's where you I can catch an evolution or you can if you're doing your own if it's your first encounter on a route and I know that's going to be very unlikely but I think it kind of balances it a little more and makes it more nuzlocke instead of just like if you find one whenever you can get one because then you could start farming one or then you could just start farming for them and you can make the argument that you could only catch the first evolution you encounter but eh, I want to make it more nuzlocke so that does allow me to use my Raikou AEV uh, because that would have been my first encounter for Heart Home and I don't care if it was randomized it was it's supposed to be an EV so shh. But um, more than likely, that's going to be the last evolution we ever encounter. So, uh, not a big deal, I think. Hopefully, that makes you guys happy. The people that, the people that didn't want me to do it, um, hopefully, this is a good compromise. You know, like if it's the first evolution, if it's the first encounter, then I can catch it just as it was in those locks. So. I don't know. I can't make everybody happy, and I'm trying my best to like find a good compromise here. Um. I know, like I said, the the odds of me actually finding an evolution as one of my first encounters is very slim. And as always, you guys, if you're doing one of these on your own, you can adjust the rules to however you want to play. Which is one of the beautiful things about Nuzlocke is because you can play it however you want to. And it makes it so much more exciting. So hopefully you guys like that. Um, hopefully you guys aren't too angry. I know... One, I saw a comment from, I never remember how to pronounce his name. I always want to think it's like Ten Solo, but I don't think that's right. I really feel like that's wrong, but I, I always recognize his comments because he's been watching my videos for basically as long as I can remember. You know what? Espionage has this. He's been watching my videos for a very, very long time, and I always see his, uh, I, he's one of my first subscribers, that, and I just recognize him a lot, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and he was saying, like, Oh, I thought he disappeared at first. I'm like, game? Game? What's going on? Um, and he's like, yo, if I did this and I just start doing it, he'd like want to stop watching. And I'm like, I don't want that to happen. Because not only is he like one of my longest viewers that I remember, 
Um, I just another star you really? Hmm. What are the odds of that's like a one in four hundred and eighty-six thousand percent chance? I know that math is not correct, but and I it just really bugs me that I can't make everybody happy, and that is literally just how YouTube is. You cannot ever make anyone on everyone on YouTube happy because there's always going to be that one person that's upset, and it, it's mostly that way in life as well, but. I like to think I found a decent compromise here. I know like 95% of people said yes, and like I said, I'm treating this like a beta run. It's I never considered the fact that this would end up being a randomizer. I never considered like uh, gift EVs, which I really should have. I made that mistake. Um, I really kind of thought of this plan, and then a week later, it, the series started. I don't even think it was a week. It was like four days later or something, the series started. So I obviously lacked a lot of thought in this series, which is probably... A big mistake on my part and wow you actually kind of wall me somewhat well ice resist ice so blizzard would only be like uh, crystal doesn't even have blizzard i keep forgetting that demix has blizzard um crystal could i was just going to blitzkrieg blitzkrieg has double kick even though double kick seems to do absolutely nothing i still i like to believe as long as he doesn't have wood hammer because i just started thinking we're getting somewhat high level now, so they might start getting more powerful moves, which is something I have to be scared of. I don't think he'll have Wood Hammer yet. Maybe, maybe something Ingrain. Okay, so he doesn't even have any scary moves. And I, you're not even supposed to be an Obama Snow yet. I just realized that because I don't think Snover evolves until 40. That might be wrong, actually. It might evolve in the low 30s. I don't remember. I had a Snover in White Platinum, didn't I? That was named um, Chewbacca. And was it named Chewbacca or no? It was named Chewy, but same thing. Okay, nope. I'm not risking the confusion. It's not worth it. I'm switching out because I know how my luck has been in this series. It just nope, nope, not happening. Sorry, no. <laughs> what is he gonna go for? It? Ice shard. Oh, that's so adorable. You know, it's like really ironic too because um, Crystal learned ice shard. When we I did a tiny bit of training. I realized like. Uh, I really didn't need to do that much training because the mix is already 40 and his and Byron's highest Pokemon I believe is 41, so I didn't need to do that much training. Uh, I did I think like two levels on Crystal and I think a level on Jolteon, not Jolteon, Blitzkrieg. Almost all the training went on Espionage, and after like 10 levels, I'm just like I don't want to do this anymore. So I just like yeah, I'll just come back to it later. But ooh, I don't really have. No, wait, why didn't I stay with Crystal? Crystal is Bite. I keep forgetting that Crystal is Bite. It's my only Pokemon right now with a Dark-type move. Um, I really have to find out where you get Shadow Ball, because I don't know who I'm going to give Shadow Ball to. Most likely... Espionage? Maybe Demix. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not Demix, actually. I wish I could get another Toxic TM. I feel so stupid that I gave um, Midna Toxic, and then Midna immediately died. In like the first battle afterwards that was just like game just saying screw you Hardy, you can't be happy and it's right when am I ever actually happy do I have to heal up I feel like I have to heal up yeah I'm not at that point yet and I don't have any like small potions so like all I have is Moo Moo Milks and like two hyper potions so but luckily all I really need right now is Moo Moo Milks I think Vaporeon is the only one that needs hyper potions um <gasps> My friend has been talking to me about this trainer for a long time, ever since this series started. I have a friend named Bree, and she's been telling me that there's a trainer in the steel gym named Brianna, and she's gonna destroy you. And we're finally at that moment, in the steel gym, Hardy versus Bree. Let's go. She has a horsey that is not at all intimidating. She basically told me if I beat Bree, that if I beat the Brianna trainer, then I'm going to beat the Nuzlocke. So, this is this is where we are right here. Like, if we beat this trainer, we're going to win this Nuzlocke, according to her. And she's very, very scary about this stuff because um, we were once talking around and she said, when, this is still in Blaze Black, Egglock, when I had my Blaziken. Right before I recorded a video, she made a joke saying, I hope Blaziken dies. That video, Blaziken died. So, she's really kind of creepy about this. Um, and I think another time she's like that she hoped just joking around she said she hoped all my Pokemon ended up dying or I was uh, I think she said I was gonna lose the Nuzlocke the Egglock and right afterwards I just ended up losing a ton of Pokemon and it was just so creepy but um, let's hope that her prediction is right and if I beat this trainer Rihanna 
I will win this Eevee lock. I keep calling it a nose lock, don't I? I'm sorry, Eevee lock. So, two down, one to go. If it's like a Gyarados or just like an, a Dragonite, the Shellos. That is not at all scary. Actually, it might have a ground type move at this level now that I'm thinking about it. But we should actually probably just be able to Shockwave. I doubt it'll level Shockwave just because it's so small and pink and weak. <sighs> okay. We, we've just officially won this Nuzlocke, guys. And I know this isn't, like, relevant to anybody except me and my friend. And I originally wasn't going to mention anything because a lot of people probably wouldn't care or wouldn't understand, like, what the heck I'm talking about. But it was just so... She just bugs me about it so much. I'm like, all right, I'll, I have to say something because... Um, anyways, let's give one to you... We are not going to be used... Actually, I'll lead with Espionage, just because I'm probably going to have to switch out anyways, because I can't possibly predict what he's going to use. So, last gym battle, we lost half our team. This is most like... This, I don't... Do I have any normal potions at all? I don't want to waste my Moo Moo Milks on that little amount of HP. I don't. Ah. Uh, well, okay. I'm limited to, I think, three healing items anyways, so... But, yeah, but now with that logic, I don't want to switch out. Okay, let's just lead with Demix then, because Demix is my best option. Okay, let's do this. I'm the bird's gym... I was about to say, I am bird's gym leader, but it's Orbird. No, he's not Orbird either. He's... Canowave? Is this Canowave City? Is that even in this game? I feel like Canowave is 6th gen. This... What is this? Where are we? I don't know. Shogun! Anyways, that's actually pretty good for me, because I have Blizzard! And he has Protect! Wow, now I'm suddenly sad. Uh, I, was, I was like, does it show if... I was gonna say, would it show if you missed if they used Protect? I guess we probably would have hit that time, and of course we missed this time, because we're using Mizzard, guys. Because it... Get it? Mizzard? Mizzard? Or, uh, Blizzmiss? I feel like Mizzard rolls off the tongue better. Mizzard. I don't know. <gasps> Dusty! Hey, you haven't invaded my videos in one of a long time. Dusty. Hi. What? You wanna? Here. You're gonna play Pokemon for me. What is coming up next? An Electabuzz? We definitely wanna switch, right? Down? No, we. Yeah. So, okay. You gotta press. You gotta press the buttons, Dusty. I was trying to make you play Pokemon. You don't have to have such an attitude with me. Cats don't appreciate when you want to spend quality time with them. They just don't, and it's rude. Uh, what is it? It was an Electro-type. Electabuzz. Um, probably going to have a Fighting-type move, so I feel like Blitzkrieg's probably the best choice, because unless Electric-types can't touch us, uh, his fighting will be neutral, and I don't remember what our defenses are like, because I'm never going to remember what our defenses is like. He hasn't sent in his highest yet, which kind of sucks. Um, no point going for Thunder, because actually, does he have Volt Absorb? I don't know. Might as well just go for Double Kick. I don't remember if he has Static or Volt Absorb, or um, I don't think he has Lightning Rod. I think only like Ground types get Lightning Rod. Light Screen, that's actually fine because I'm using Double Kick. Uh, if you had Reflect, I would be a lot more upset right now because Double Kick is already doing nothing as it is. You know, I've always kind of wondered why Sir he has Static. Now I know. Um, I've always kind of wondered why certain Pokemon get light... Do you just have light screen and all electric type moves? Well, that works out. Yeah, okay, apparently so. Well, that works out really well for me. Um, I've always kind of wondered, like, why do some Pokemon just get light screen? Like, Electrode, I believe, only gets light screen. Um, Electabuzz, I think, only gets light screen. I know a lot of Pokemon get both light screen and reflect, because they, like, run dual screen sets with light clay. And I don't know if there are Pokemon that just get Reflect. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but we would get paralyzed. You know what? Um, we know he only has electric type moves apparently, so I should be able to switch into Crystal. He's gonna go for Light Screen here, unless he somehow outpredicts me. There's no way he's gonna. Okay. Although apparently the Light Screen actually wore off on a turn because my original plan was, oh, let's switch into. Electabuzz and use Icy Wind, but I guess we'll just... Ice Shard, I think, would be the same base power as Bite, but Bite can flinch. Doesn't matter, he's faster anyways. Okay, you know, 
we could actually use this to our advantage. We could switch into as one of his electric types, get the Volt Absorb, and boost our special attack. Is that what Volt Absorb does, or does Volt Absorb give back HP? Crap, I didn't think about this. I don't actually know. It... I guess it just gives back HP. Well, that's not nearly as useful as I thought it was. I was trying to use strategies, Byron, and you ruined it. You ruined my strategies. I was, I feel it really smart, because any time I ever try to use strategy, never works. Never. When, actually, whenever I try to use strategy, it usually ends with me getting absolutely destroyed. And I don't appreciate that, okay? I like when I play a game and it, like, you know, that's, that's Twitter. Cool. I like when I play a game and it's like, I'm going to appreciate your strategy and I'm going to reward you for that. It's really much appreciated, to be honest. And, um, this, I just, I wish this game would just be nicer to me, but... When I'm just completely reckless, I also lose. So I just, there's nothing I could do to win at Pokemon. As you say, if you heal, so much vengeance is coming your way, Electabuzz. But Electabuzz is finally down. I pretty much like cannot touch Electabuzz with except for Blitzkrieg. But his final Pokemon is a Nidoking. Oh yeah, I do have two Pokemon super effective against it. So it's not the worst thing in the world. But um... I think it is a higher level than us, and would he have Horn Drill at this level? I don't know. That's something I'm really scared of, actually, is Horn Drill. Let's go for Surf. Thrash. Okay, I take it back. I'm also really scared of that. Oh, okay. We can have another one if it's not a crit, if this Surf doesn't kill. The good thing is he can't heal up now because he's locked into that. Wow, that that's still a two-hit kill? KO, but that's not as much as I thought it would be. Okay, as so long as this isn't a crit. Oh my god. I thought it was a crit at first, and I was like, ah! But it wasn't, thankfully. And we managed to win, guys! We did it! Oh yeah, we're so good at Pokemons! We are now level 41, and that means we get our 6th gym badge. Which I always, for some reason I always thought Byron was the 7th, and apparently... That, but I also knew Candace was the 7th, so I really don't know what I was thinking. I'm not sure which one I really thought was. Why can't they just both be 7? Seven? 7 is such a better number than 6. I mean, 6 is half of the number that has been haunting me my entire life. I believe this is actually Flash Cannon, which... Can't Glaceon learn Flash Cannon? I, I don't know. I feel like it can't, but I feel like it should. Does that make sense? Like, you, it should be able to learn it, but it's probably not going to because it's just kind of mean like that. If not, Espionage might... Nope, nobody can, because why in the world would they? What about Grass Knot? Can anybody learn that? Espionage can, that. That could actually be a good move, because I don't have anything to hit... Well, actually, I do have something to hit Grass types, and Ground types, and Rock types. It's coverage, leave me alone. It's better than freaking Quick Attack on an Espeon, okay? It's a special move, it will hit, like, the big tall things. Those big deadly tall things, you guys know what things I'm talking about. Uh, why in the world... Am I doing this right now? Actually, I don't know. Let's get out of here. Um, but, I believe... I, you know, when I went into this video, like, right before I was recording, I'm like, I'm gonna talk to them, guys, about something awesome and special. And it wasn't that awesome and special, just something I've been thinking. And now I'm like, yeah, I forgot to do it, as always. Whoa! What do you want, Mustard? <gasps> this reminds me, um, someone drew fan art of a Caterpie doing the monkey, and... It's the most adorable thing ever. If I remember, I, I will try to put it on the screen. Actually, I don't know if GIFs work in Camtasia, but uh, I will find a way to put it on the screen. And you guys will watch it, and it'll be awesome and adorable. So, as always, guys, that is going to wrap it up for us today. Got, not as always, this is going to end it. I am not good with words. Leave me alone. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to show your love and support for the series by leaving a like down below. Hopefully, you guys are okay with the new rule I decided to add in. Like I said, this is kind of... I'm treating this like a beta run of an EV lock. We're testing out things as we play, and I'm bringing you guys along for the adventure. So, hopefully, I didn't piss off the people that didn't want me to do it, and the people that did are still happy. So... Yeah, no idea what the question is. Um, until next time, I'm Party Tech Yo-Yo. Dusty is a bitch. Peace!